Ayo hey, guys, Enigma here, dropping a Jump Force discussion video just for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thanks for coming back. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely look into doing that because I'm still trying to drop all this content on you guys as much as I can. You know, it's always gonna be good content, of course, not trash. So let's talk about it. Should we still be hype for Jump Force? Yes, a lot of Jump Force YouTubers, including myself, have bashed the marketing team and guys rightfully so we are disgusted and you guys should be disgusted too of how they're treating the game ace combat the 20th anniversary is getting godlike marketing i cannot go on my tablet not one time while i just check into twitter and refresh the page it's always someone's comment and then it's Ace Combat 7. Nani? It's almost laughable because a lot of us, the groups, the circle of us, just laugh about it and like, wow. But in reality, guys, we're just giving Ace Combat a lot of publicity because we're all complaining about Ace Combat and mentioning Ace Combat that the cookies are picking it up and therefore we're seeing Ace Combat so much. It's a simple, simple thing. I don't think they intended on that happening. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, this is a genius. It's not a damn genius market plan. It just happened by coincidence. They dropped the Ace Combat Trailers 20th anniversary, thought nothing of it. The Jump Force community or the Jump Force YouTubers were complaining about Ace Combat so much that it became a thing. They never planned this. But anyway, that's besides the point. Moving on. Should you still be um, hype? Yes, I think you should. The trailers and whatnot were all good good when they drop it yes it's been scarce but when they did drop some information it was good information i'm pleased with all the trailers only trailer i kind of like was iffy about was the asta deku trailer because i didn't see enough deku i think they should have showed them off a little bit more and whatnot but that's just nitpicking the roster so far is great okay I know, listen to me first. The roster is great for a fighting game. We're looking at a decent roster, but when you start adding that 50th anniversary in front of something, that's when things start getting sour. No, we're not complaining. A lot of people are saying we're complaining. All we're doing is crying and talking about how bad the roster is. Well, guys, imagine this, okay? Let's just put this, let's put this in perspective. You're saying the new Smash Ultimate is coming out. But somehow, they leave out Luigi, they leave out Bowser, they leave out Yoshi, right? That's just, just those three characters. Somebody's going to be pissed off. So now you're like, oh, so what? I, nobody plays with Yoshi like that anyway. But he's an important character in the Mushroom Kingdom, in the whole Mario franchise. Why would he not make the roster? That's the same equivalent of not seeing Kuniku Man or Cobra, or we have yet to see any JoJo's. We know they're coming, but still... What's taking you guys so long? That is the problem I see right here. So when people are complaining, stop getting on the people complaining and just oh just wait, the game hasn't come out yet. You can project the, you can project the, the, the way the game's gonna come out. Just based on how the marketing is. The marketing has been pretty bad. I'm scared that they're just gonna have the game gonna come out, it's gonna be incomplete, and then they're gonna need a bunch of patches to fix the problems. Instead of listening to all the really, really big YouTubers, they should listen to the smaller YouTubers who are trying to put the game out there. The big YouTubers are really quiet about Jump Force because there's something to talk about. When a game drops, they're going to drop anything they want. They're going to say any stupid thing. And a lot of people are going to run over there and be hyped because they're bigger than us. But guys, we've been here since day one eating dirt, trying to make content, even though there's nothing being given out. I'm still hype low key, but I do have my concerns. I think as a community, we should all still be hype. Because somebody's, I'm not going to say favorite character, but somebody's secondary favorite character should be announced already by now. And the roster will be filled up with a lot of good stuff. So I wouldn't be worried. Pack South is on the 18th, the same day the open beta drop. So, do we think more characters are coming? I personally don't think it will be on the 18th. I think it will be before the 18th. I think it will be somewhere next week. We'll see those four characters that's been floating around that will be revealed more so than the 12th. 
And my prediction for the four would be for Naruto characters. So this is to finish off his roster of six. So yes, I'm still hype. Low key though. I mean, I show it. If you're not following me on Twitter, guys, definitely follow me on Twitter. We do Jump Force discussions all day on there. I don't have a Discord or anything right now, but I'm working on it, guys. But right now, if you got Twitter, join Twitter. Talk to me daily. Conversations and whatnot. If you like the video so far, drop an early like, guys. Back onto the subject. The game itself is smooth. It plays great. If you didn't play the, the closed beta, I'm sorry. But guess what, guys? The 18th come, the open beta is just for you guys, too. So we all get to play together. The game itself is fun. I'm just disgusted with marketing still. And that's my only concern. If they came out, I don't know, they come out by Friday and they drop some real heat on us, all would be forgiven. I know a lot of people are already giving up. A lot of people... I got the collector's edition downsized because they were disgusted. Don't worry. If you downsize to the ultimate edition, that was pretty much smart. I want the diorama and the artboard, so that's what the path I'm taking. But I think you, as you know, as a fan of Weekly Shonen Jump, should be hyped for the game. The game looks good. The roster looks good for now. I'm thinking more is coming. We still hear about this 12 that Yonko said. Uh, people are speculating 22. I'm going to go with 12 like Yonko said. And then maybe DLC. But don't quote me on it. I was, I'm was, i still low-key hyped for the game. If you're hyped for the game. You're not a fool for being hyped for the game. You should still be hyped for the game. But having a little bit of concern in your back pocket. Doesn't hurt. You hear me? It doesn't hurt. So. You should be hyped. Get ready for this game to drop. It's going to be 50 years. And as a community. We can be hyped together we can make the game better than it really is you know how you ever play a game that was so <laughs> that's kind of bad and i ain't gonna say like jstar like jstar was bad to a lot of people but when you play with your friends jstars became like this great party game that's what i want the jump force community to be i want it to be jumping i want all of us to collectively enjoy the game share content within each other with one another so yes i'm hype you should still be hyped. It is definitely worth it. The roster should be fixed by the time the game drops. Think about the 18th come. We still got the 21st. There's going to be a joint V Jump and Weekly Shonen Jump manga magazine mixture. So we should see characters in there. So yeah, just hang on tight, basically. I know a lot of us YouTubers are getting, you know, upset about it. But you got to understand from our, pers from our chair, guys. We got to drop content almost daily, and there's nothing, almost nothing to talk about. So when we find something to talk about, you guys are like, oh, that's just filler. Well, what do you want us to do? We're trying to inform you and keep you guys hype as much as possible. I'm not the biggest channel at all by any stretch of imagination, but I'm trying to be the most informative. You feel me? So anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Follow me on Twitter. And, link, and, and also down below, guys, in the, in the chat, why don't you tell me if you're still hype or not? And if you're not hype, what really killed it for you? If it's just marketing, let me know. And let me know what they can do right now to revive that spirit of yours. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, definitely like. Share this video out to other people. I want to know their opinions as well. Also, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? definitely hit the subscribe button almost at 600 guys if you didn't see my 500 subscriber special it will let you know why i was at 500 instead of 800 is a good funny video guys i will link it up right now and whatnot and you enjoy the rest of your day peace guys Kunga,